Hello everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play by K2 Multi Creative Team. You guys probably don't know about them, but they actually made two really good games that I love to death. This one and Little Samson, which is another game I plan to Let's Play eventually. This is a game released only in Japan, unfortunately, called Kokorone. Now, chances are you either know Kokorone as two things. One, that messed up game that the Seized Crab Let's Played, and the game made by the people who made Little Samson, which actually was released in America. Nonetheless, it is a great, great game, and one of the few that seems to actually have its credits at the very beginning. Lions and Penguins and Skunks. Let's play Kokorone. Start a new game. <laughs> My name is Tapir. Whoops. I didn't want to skip that. <laughs> Professional Let's Player here. Of course I'm playing this on emulation because there's no way in hell I could ever not play it on emulation. And have it be translated. I can create any dream. I'm the wizard of the dream world. So what kind of dream do you want today? A fun dream, sad dream, pleasant dream, or a magical dream? <laughs> uh, I love Tapir. He's a cool dude. Tapirs are actual animals. I don't know what he's like. actually supposed to be called in Japan. Maybe Tapir? But he is a Tapir, so it's an understandable name. Rua, princess of the Dream Kingdom, has been captured by evil forces. You must go on a journey to rescue her. You are the hero, of course. You can take any form. Which will you choose? And this is where one of the main gimmicks of the game comes in. You get to create your own character using all of these different heads and bodies. And for my character, I will use the ghost body the uh, cyborg body and boomerang and I will be Mars cuz that's who I am I am Mars all right we can run we can jump and we can shoot this basically the what I did was I basically made Mega Man and that's what the game is. The game is basically a build your own Mega Man. You can create, you know, your different characters and give them different abilities and special stuff. And I chose Mega Man. Now then, we can choose any stage from our house. Let me go to Trump Castle. It's a simple premise. You just go and kill things. It's basically Mega Man, but with eggs and really trippy Japanese stuff. And oh, so many kinds of better than Mega Man. <laughs> no, it's it's a good game. I wouldn't really call it better than Mega Man, but it's, it's fun. And uh, the fun is yet to be had. We haven't been able to, we haven't made our other characters yet. That's right, we can make more characters and I'll do what Deceased Crab did. You guys will put in your, um... God damn, I'm getting my ass kicked. You guys will put in your, uh, suggestions of who the new characters should be. And I will use your names. So, like, tell me what bodies, all that. I'll show you the bodies after this. And the heads and all that. So you guys will be actually understand what you're doing. The only problem with the boomerang is it's pretty strong. It's a nice weapon. I really like it. But it's, I mean, at the beginning, it's not that good. It's pretty weak. It doesn't have great range. You're not able, able to hit things that are high up. We're apparently getting into lobby areas. I don't get these eggs. Hey, hey. Invulnerability? I don't know. Oh, hey, I didn't know I could float. Wait, is that only for this ability? Yeah, that's only for this ability. Whoa, skunk. That was not nice. And Skunk committed suicide. Okay, that ability... Though, though, there are these... Whoa, I did not mean to... Oh, that was not good. <laughs> let's try that again. Sure, let's Trump Castle again. 
There, there are different things that, are come out, that can come out of the eggs. There are these, and when you get five of those, you increase your uh, weapon. And you can increase that up to like five times, I believe. Come on. Ah. Oh, what the hell? Come on, flip. Flip. Gotcha. And you too, Mr. Mole Man. Ow. I'm getting sandwiched by moles. It was not on my daily itinerary. I actually didn't think I'd be doing this today. But, I was bored, and then my class doesn't start for another hour, so... I think I just need one more, yep, one more power-up, and I'll be able to fix up my boomerang and make it nice. These skunks are suicidal. It's not very good. I can float again! I will use it to get across this annoying ass pit. Skull land! That's a little bad. What happened to what happened to the what the hell was that? Oh, that's an extra life. <laughs> you don't you don't really see those too often. So I wasn't really sure what the hell it was. Penguins! Yeah! Boomerang level 2, just a stronger, larger version of Boomerang level 1. Ow. Ow. Cyborg body is nice in that it's, uh, it has good, you know, traction and speed and everything, but it also has good, uh, health. As opposed to some other bodies that are, like, super duper slow, as, a, as well as, like, really weak, all oh, that's- ooh, sweet. Normally the enemies pop out of those. I was pretty lucky there. I hate these armadillos though. They're so annoying to kill. Yeah, we need more of those. Did you know that in England, Trump means fart? We are in Fart Castle! I'm reusing jokes from other Let's Plays that I haven't done. I'm sorry to see Scrab, you still don't know who I am. Nonetheless, I am ripping you off in many different ways. I mean, no I'm not, don't be silly. Anyway, that the weird uh, power-up thing that's allowing me to float right now, it does different things for different characters. And I really don't know, like, why it's allowing me to float right now and... Normally it seems to not do anything. I really don't know. It depends on the character and in my past uh, ooh, Level three already sweet my past takes of this like I haven't done like practice runs I should say uh, With the same exact character actually they didn't do anything So I don't know it's really weird. I Really like this character though, and he looks awesome. I would like totally make a game based around this guy right here. He would be a wacky... Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Some kind of ghost hero with his cool cape and everything. Wouldn't you play a game based around this guy? I know I would. It's the king! Oh wait Mars, I was tricked by the Joker! I've been trapped in Fart Castle for so long. Please help me. And it's just an endurance round right now. We have to survive the spades attacking us. I don't know why. Then again, that's like the main thing in this entire game. I don't know why. You can sum up the entire game in that. In just those three words. Wait, I don't know. Four words! I can count! You can actually kill these things while they're moving, but otherwise, you can't. 
They only do one tick of damage, but still, you know, a lot. In the long run. You don't want to be hit at all. Joker in the end will do a crap ton of damage. The bosses in this game are pretty difficult, but there really aren't that many. Yeah. Ow. This one's one of the easier ones. And now the jacks will come out and kill me for some reason. And these I actually kill like normal as opposed to just dodging them. And now the queens. Of which there are multiple, which is we Ow! And of course the king doesn't attack us, but the joker does! The more damage he has, the faster he'll become. Ow, one more hit and I'm- oh. Fail! Fail, I do say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You live in Fart Castle, you're silly. This boss battle goes on for way too long. Mars, the ghost hero, will have none of you! None of you, I do say! Ow. Look at his fruffles float around when I press the A button. Or whatever the hell. Whee! But yeah, uh, let's see, more things I can talk about this game. It's really not much to say, it's a pretty simple platformer. I mean, simple as a, well as just being outright insane at times. But, uh, it's fun, very underrated. The entirety of the company that made these, that made this game and, uh, Little Samson that I mentioned is way under, way underlooked. Yeah, you really need to play the games, because they're really good. Little Samson is amazing, and this game is fun as hell. And a good game to let's play, because it's nice for, you know, the uh, sake of viewer interaction, if you will. I mean, I ask you guys what you want me to do, and you, I do it. You will hopefully tell me. You guys have been bad about that in the past, but I continue to trust you. I'm like a... You're an abusive boyfriend, and I'm the dumbass girlfriend of this relationship. Yeah, boomerangs! Boomerangs! I'm quick man incarnate, bitch. Yeah! I'm a weird color right now. All right, we won! I'm finally back to normal. Thank you! If you're strong enough to defeat the Joker, I'm sure you can save Princess Rua. All right. Thank you, creepy old man. All right, create another ally. All right, so this is where you guys come in. You will help me create anyone. You can choose any face you want. Let me just save date right here. We have many faces to choose from. We have the hero face. We have the ninja face. We have the robot face. We have aliens. We have fighters. Monsters. And ghost, but don't really use the ghost, because I just made a ghost. And question mark. So, choose any of these. Along with... I'll just choose him. The stereotypical hero dude. Along with these. The armor bodies. The wing bodies. The jet bodies. The cyborg bodies. The boat bodies. Buggies. Tanks. And question marks. And I'm totally not hoping you'd pick a certain body. Definitely not. Nope. Whoops. No two bodies do I want specifically. Whoops. And then we also have the weapons. Don't choose boomerang. I already got boomerang. 
choose any other of these weapons. We have Melody, Flowers, Crystals. Crystals suck. I will not choose anyone who chooses Crystal. Pencil, Ball, Shuriken, and Parasol. Any of these work. I also don't like Flowers. Pretty much Flower and Crystal I'll ignore. Unless I'm just sadistic on myself. So, any of these at all. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Kokoron. See you all then.